Hey guys, so I know that my hair looks just amazing and I'm rocking the muscle tee even though I don't really have muscles, but whatever. I'm just going to be showing you how I do my everyday hair, well pretty much every day when I actually do my hair. Okay, so the first thing that I always do is detangle my hair with the Dove Hair Therapy Detangler. It has like a whole bunch of oils and stuff in it that's nice and I just give that a little spritz through my hair this is really cheap by the way I think it's like three dollars so yeah. then I use my handy dandy comb which I always use this is a comb that is like it's just my favorite comb ever I got it a long time ago it was from the Dollar Tree I think you can't really find these combs anywhere. I don't know, they might have them at Sally's, I guess I haven't really checked. But yeah, just comb out all the tangles from your hair and do this to your extensions too, if you're gonna be wearing extensions. I already did that, so we're gonna skip that part. My hair was in a ponytail previously to this video, so yeah, like, I have a freaking afro right now so yeah and I just washed my hair last night so it's clean I don't have to do whatever next I think yeah um, I take the suave professionals heat protection spray love this stuff it's so cheap and it works just as good as like all the other ones that everybody raves about and just do a light spraying of that and then just kind of um, run your fingers through your hair so it gets like all throughout the hair not just on top of it because what's the point of that? And make sure you're doing this to your bangs too. Can't forget them. Okie doke. So now I'm going to kind of tame this a little bit because it's like really puffy. I'm just going to kind of lightly flat iron like almost to my jaw down because I still like to keep this volume up here so yeah. Going to section that into two pieces, do a little twist with that and clip it up. Then I'm going to take my flat iron, this is a chi by the way favorite flat iron I've ever used and I've used a billion different ones it's not even funny this one has lasted the longest so I'm just gonna do that really lightly because I don't want it to be like stick straight but I don't want it to be puffy and frizzy and wavy either that's what I mean by lightly like stick straight is like going from top to bottom and going over it like three times which isn't good for your hair it really isn't but we do it anyways don't we plus I have layers and sometimes they like to curl out like that and it's like what are you doing go back to where you came from now I'm going to section it again these are the extensions that I use and it looks like a weird mess these are by Love Body Bling on eBay. I'll put my review down below. So what I'm going to do is go right above my ears and then take a thin section just like that. And I'm going to twist that up again. Get my clip. And then I'm going to take a relatively long piece of hair. I should comb these again, but whatever. Um, just like this. And it goes in between your ears. So, one, two, three. So there's those. 
And I'm going to pull those forward. Okay, then I'm going to take that down and then just go a little tiny bit above that. And then my brother's being weird downstairs. Um, bring some out on the sides too. Above your ears. Make sure I have enough. Okay. So it's going to look just like that. Then I'm going to take these little two clip ones that I cut a little bit shorter so it just looks more natural right there, I guess. So clip those right above the ear. Same on the other side. And don't put them too close this way, otherwise, you know, your bangs kind of go like that. And then the clip will show, and that's not hot. So bring that forward. And then I'm going to take a smaller three clip weft, and then I'm going to put it right there. Right in between where I put these two clips. I'm going to bring all that forward. Then I'm going to take the top section, like right here, if you were to have cat ears, like that's where they would be. Make sure you have enough so when you tease it, the clips aren't showing. And I'm just going to take this last bigger three clip weft and put it right there. Okay. Done with the extensions. I already have them curled. Um, I just basically curl them with a flat iron. Um, it's just really easy. I mean, they're pretty much just like wavy. They're not really like curly, curly. I don't know. It just looks like naturalish. I guess. I don't know. Um, then I just kind of try to smooth this stuff down, and if it ain't working. Gonna have to take our little flat iron and curl it under like that, kind of, so that it doesn't look so obvious that we have hair extensions in. And then, same on the inside, if you have a piece sticking out like that, that bugs the crap out of me, so I do the opposite I curl it in so it stays. Just like that. Then you can just kind of curl some random pieces in the front of your own hair so it kind of blends in a little bit. And now I look like a total like bean head with like long hair. So I like to poof it out. I'm just going to start taking sections about like this big. Can see that not very big and I'm just going to take my teasing comb by amped up by Cricut it looks like that then I'm going to comb up just to make sure there's no snarls and then I'm going to start teasing to like the middle of the shaft right here wow I need to back up so y'all can see then I'm going to pull that forward so it looks really weird. And I'm just going to keep doing sections just like that. Okay, then move that over.
And then we're going to push it all back like that and then gently kind of comb just the top of it. So it looks all nice and smooth and pretty. Make sure you got those little layers behaving. This part of my head bothers me because it like, I don't know, it just doesn't like to tease that well so I have to do it like a few times for it to like do what I want it to do. Plus it has to like kind of blend into the bangs, I don't know, it's just weird and annoying. Okay, whoa, I just saw a huge bird fly down my window like, then it went like that. It was really cool actually, but it kind of scared me at the same time. Then, when it's like how I want it to be, okay, then I take, sorry, my camera is sitting on top of my hairspray because it's really tall. Okay, so I just take this hairspray by Tresemme. The Tray 2 Extra Hold 4 Dot Spray. I don't know what they call this. It has too many names on it. Whatever. Shake it up, son. So. That's what my hair looks like. You can't even see it all in one shot. It like goes to like my belly button. My belly button is right here. But yeah, I love my hair. It's so pretty. And if you want to know what lipstick I'm wearing, I mixed um, Revlon's Nude Attitude. Looks like that. It's like an orangey, nudish color that I don't really like. So I always mix it with another color. And I mixed it with Essence's Creamy Nude, which looks like this, which is a dupe for the Wet n Wild Fergie collection. In Friggy Daily, if you can't get your hands on this, it's an exact dupe for this. So yeah. Love it. I'm sorry I haven't posted any videos. It's not that I don't want to um, upload videos. It's just technical difficulties. So yeah. I will see you guys next time. I love you so much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.